Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today's video is going to be a little different. No, there's not going to be any old video game. There's not going to be a nostalgic video game today, but there's going to be a video that I had in my head cooking for a little while. Uh, you know how I use virtual machines a lot, especially when browsing, you know, the deep web or playing some specific games like EXE games particularly? For me, it's basically my computer's fucking condom, alright? It's the it's preventing me from the STDs known as viruses, trojans, malware on the internet. It's not 100% effective, but it does get the job done, and so far, I haven't had a fucking scare here up till now. So, I wanted to show you a little bit of how I kill one of these, or like, you know, whenever I get bored, I kind of do this kind of stuff. Um, but I've never really tried it out on, like, a massive scale or something like this, where I sat down and made a video to record it. Now, it's not exactly gameplay game related, I know, but uh, I, I wanted to sort of do this because I wanted to show you how you can kill one of these things with today using just pure memes, alright? We're gonna inject so many memes into this virtual machine that it's going to want to fucking die. Die. Now, I played many games where it also wanted to fucking die, but today you are going to witness the fucking death, the murder of a virtual machine, a computer, really. Now, uh, I've actually, just as a side note, I know some people really like my RE7 video, so if you do want more RE7, let me know in the comments below. I'll actually, you know, release the last couple of parts. You know my whole issue with playthroughs. If people want it, yeah, you got it. But ladies and gentlemen, here we have Windows Vista. For those of you who don't know the may may that is Windows Vista, uh, it is a universally panned operating system. Not because it's necessarily bad, I'd say. I think at the time it came out, the requirements were so fucking uh, asinine, I guess you could say. Like, even for the Windows Vista-ready PCs, that the thing didn't run fine. Of course, it wasn't a great operating system by any chances, but uh, it wasn't horribly bad. I think if you're using it on a computer nowadays, you know, you'll get away with a fairly decent, competent OS. Of course, nothing compared to its successor, Windows 7, uh, and then and downgrade to 8, and then decent Windows 10, I would say. Windows Vista is a meme, alright? One of its most defining features was this. If you pressed Windows and Tab, you could, like, fucking cut back between, like, do this 3D shit. Back in the day, I was like, oh, 3D Windows! We were very easily entertained. Of course, I have a little Mayo's collection here, but uh, we're gonna back out and go to the desktop. Now, I have Bonzi Buddy installed. Now, I will make an actual video on Bonzi Buddy if people want me to. But for those of you who don't know what Bonzi Buddy necessarily is, here, let me just start it up. Bonzi Buddy is computer aids. Essentially, right now, it is classified as adware, where it basically just spams your computer with ads. I'm trying to get it to start. Here we got one. Bonzi Buddy is trying to start. Let's just give it an allow. Some people actually go out of its fucking way. Oh, man. That's not the Bonzi Buddy I want, though. Isn't it let me back. Bedtime. Well, yeah, dude, it's kind of pa what? Ten fifty four? Hell no! I'll stay over here. Oh man, what did I get started? But hold on, let me start the monkey. Let me start the monkey version of it. This is just awful. To be up this late. Well, I'm sorry, Bonzi buddy. You're gonna have to get used to it. All right. Yeah. By the way, this thing is known for being adware and just being fucking annoying and running around your computer like this. So we're gonna give it all the kind of shit that it wants. Uh, I'm not gonna give it my actual email address. Fuck that nonsense. Uh, salutation, uh, what's your, what's your name? I don't know, fuck, fucking say, call me, call me, uh, <laughs> just call me KYS, there you go. How about, how about fucking that? How about apply that shit? Now, basically, what Bonzi Buddy does is it's your computer fucking friend. Think of it like using a phone and getting, like, Google Now or Siri, except this was awful, all right? This was bad. Like, here, I'll show you right now, okay? You can search and surf, so I'll tell, I'll tell fucking Bonzi Buddy to go search for, like, apples. How about that? And Bonzi Buddy's gonna fire this up. Alright, he's gonna look around. By the way, at the time I did this, you could have actually started Internet Explorer and fucking typed in apples and got what you wanted. And apparently you fucking failed, Bonzi. You know why it failed? Because it went through Bonzi.com. And you wanna know where Bonzi.com is? Fucking dead is what's happened. Alright, Bonzi Buddy, you fucked up that. Um, enter a site. Okay, yeah, go to Google. How about that? Let me take me take me to Google. Oh, well, well, the animation isn't sported. Okay, then. Oh, it crashed Bonzi, buddy? Oh, man. I think that was actually a blessing, not a curse. It was fire you back up again, you son of a bitch. If you go to, like, entertainment, all right, you go to, it takes you to, like, and it, and it keeps getting annoying. You think this, do I ever, <laughs> do you ever sleep, KYS? Now, unfortunately, most of his shit is gone. Because, like, you can't go to, like, entertainment, sports, travel. You can't go anywhere because Bonzi.com doesn't actually exist. The whole site is fucking gone. Like, if you open up games, you are not getting access to anything Bonzi-related. 
Um, you apparently even had finances. You could have buddies. Like, oh man, did I actually? I see we haven't yet subscribed to services. <laughs> like, I'm gonna subscribe to. Subscribe to services. Skywise, I would be able to notify you and your friends online, and we could send and receive instant messages with them. I'm sure we could. Oh my God! No, don't take me to it. Don't stop it. All right, at least it's not taking me to shit. But basically, this thing would just spam you full of random crap for you to eventually sign up to. And that's basically what it was. Did you just crash my browser? Oh my god, it literally just fucking- it crashed my whole mouse. Is it- is it taking me? What does a la mao mean? The meaning of a la mao memes? Nah, dude. Oh my god. Bonzi buddy fucking destroyed my mouse. This son of a bitch. He fucking destroyed the mouse. Oh, I love how he wears, like, sunglasses. He knows what the fuck he did. All right, I fixed the mouse. But uh, I think we got to get to the meat of the video over here. So we're going to open up this program called Memes. Okay, right here you see Geometry Dash Auto Speed Hack. Basically what this program is, is it's called Mems 4.0. Now, this is the destructive version because I'm using it since I have a VM, right? What this will do, what this is, is it's basically a Trojan that you start yourself willingly. Now, it's got a bunch of payloads in it that's going to fuck up Windows entirely. It's going to fuck up Windows to the point where it is gone, and it's going to overwrite the master boot record, meaning that once I restart the VM, I shouldn't be able to restart it at all. Now, of course, you can roll back on it if you're, you know, inept in, like, if, if you have some aptitude in fucking recovering your Windows. But, uh, <laughs> we're not gonna do that, boys and girls. We're gonna go start it up. It's gonna hit allow. Now, I don't know if this has any fucking ear like destruction, but the software you just executed is considered malware. The malware will harm your computer and make it unusable. If you are seeing this message without knowing what you just executed, simply press no and nothing will happen. If you know what this malware does and are using a safe environment to test, use a virtual machine. Please don't fucking download MEMS 4.0 or anything like this and run it on your actual computer. I think I have to state that very fucking evidently. Alright? That don't do it on a do it on a VM. Alright, press yes. Do you want to execute this malware, resulting in an unusable machine? Yes. This is the last warning. The creator is not responsible. Oh, yes. Your computer has been fucked by the memes Trojan. <laughs> you hear that, Bonzi buddy? Your computer won't boot up again, so use it as long as you can. Trying to kill memes will cause your system to be destroyed instantly, so don't try it. Oh, okay. Alright, so can we fire up memes? Oh my god, I just double locked. Oh shit, I launched it again. Fucking hell, dude. No? What is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, I think I might have actually killed fucking Mems. Oh my god. Wait a minute. If I restart this right now. <laughs> I double launched Mems. I was actually expecting halfway to get some sort of a... I was expecting to actually get... Oh my god, I was expecting to get, like, something back. I was expecting to get, like, an error message or some shit like that. But fuck, man, I failed it out. Hold on, let me restart and see if this does anything. Oh my god. I was half expecting to get, like, destroyed or some shit. God damn it. <laughs> so yeah, basically, when you restart your computer, you get Neon Cat basically tossed in. And you're kind of getting some feedback over here, Nasty. I apologize for that. But basically, this overwrites your uh, master boot record, and you're not able to use your computer anymore. But if you were using it right now, Mems would have fucking completely destroyed stuff. So I'm actually gonna go switch to my other virtual machine just to see what it would do. It's a Windows 10 one, but it should all cause the same kind of hell. So we're onto the uh, we're onto the Windows 10 machine that I normally use for recording a lot of these uh, EXE games. I killed off the Vista one with a total mistake. I launched Mems twice. I actually thought the Mems that I downloaded was going to give you the GUI, but that's actually the clean version. But you actually saw what Mems would do to a computer. It rendered it completely useless unless you reinstalled the master boot record to go back into the Windows installation, which even then, because it was infected, it's, it's pretty fucked. So here we got one more that we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill two VMs today at the price of one video. <laughs> I'm gonna hit uh, start on one of the programs. It's going to basically tell us, now these are the payloads that MEMS is going to do, okay? Now, essentially what payloads will do is you can open random websites and programs, random keyboard input. So like, for example, if I go to like Notepad or something, 
which excuse me for the lagginess of this entire uh, VM. This is actually an underpowered VM compared to the last one. Uh, you can basically enter random keyboard input. So this payload is considered semi-harmful. This means it should be safe to use, but it can still cause data loss and other things you might want. Uh, if you have productive data, it's, yeah, go for it. Yes, use it. So basically, it's probably going to give us some random ass input here and there. If I give it, yes, enable it, of course. Which, I don't see it being used primarily right over here, but if I open random websites and programs, what you're going to get is it's starting up like Internet Explorer real quick. Batch virus download, google.cock, which I think it's, I don't know what CK is, but it's taking me to like fake viruses, things like that. Which, if I keep on clicking that, actually... Actually, no, I think it's completely enabled, too. It's not like... It's gonna keep on doing this kind of shit. Here, it started a paint or whatever. So that's one of the random programs it's opening up. If I go to draw error icons... Here, you got error icons being tossed your fucking way. So that's gonna clutter up your screen. This is a meme -y. Oh my god, it looks freaky as fuck! Jesus Christ! If you do reverse text, yes. You're gonna get reverse text, and it's gonna keep going back and forth. Now, if you go to, like, random error sound. Registry editor, yes. Oh, no, it's starting up programs like registry editor. Uh, random cursor movement, which is... This is actually fucking weird. Oh, my God. Open a message box. Still using this computer. Uh, no, kill reverse text for a second. What is this? Still using this computer. Yes, I'm still using this computer. Now, screen glitches, which, okay, yeah, so you can see the wallpaper kind of shift around. So this computer is fucking dying right now. Is Norton better than McAfee? <laughs> oh my god, if you go to, like, task manager real quick, we'll fire this bitch up. Holy shit, would you look at the fucking screen? It is not losing itself. Uh, right now, memes is fucking, like, this computer's being used like crazy. I, I'm kind of staying away from it. It's, like, fucking so weird. Uh, I don't know what the hell flashing screen is. By the way, I, I don't know if I want to... Oh my god, stop! I'm trying to do this! <laughs> Jesus! Alright, keep on going reverse text. Might as well, right? If you go to, like, tunnel effect, here is tunnel effect slowly fucking destroying this computer as time goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, memes.exe, memes.exe is slowly but surely destroying this fucking computer. Now, at this point, with all these payloads launched, you might be thinking... Can this computer be saved? Yes, it can. But you have to you have to make sure you have like a system restore point and all that shit. Right now, what you're seeing is all these payloads running at once. Now, if I do flashing screen, which by the way, epilepsy warning, I'm gonna fire that up real quick. It's gonna start doing this. It's gonna switch to like high contrast and do all this fucking wild shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this virtual machine has now died in front of your eyes. Now, the thing is, you might think that this is impressive or it's not. It's loading up Club Penguin Island. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Still using this... It keeps telling me, am I still using the computer? Uh, what? Yeah, no, I'm... Dude, I, I've given up, man. There is no fucking way to use this computer. Now, if you had the destructive version, all of this stuff would be happening as time goes on. And there's no way you could stop it. These payloads are currently active, and they are actively destroying this computer. My computer is doing this weird thing. What the fuck is happening? Please help. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is memes.exe, memes.exe 4.0. Uh, this is one of those self, like, you self-launch Trojans, you know what I mean? But, uh, I wanted to make this video because, frankly, I'm into this kind of stuff, and there are so many other self-created Trojans out there that all do different kind of things. There's actually a creepypasta virus that you can install onto your computer and get this crazy fucking shit that, like, that'll try to spook you. It's actually a little more scarier than your standard EXE game, obviously. Now it's loading up sites in Spanish, like Super Mario Run and shit like that. Ladies and gentlemen... I wanted to do this because I wanted to destroy some of these virtual machines in front of you. You know what I mean? Because to me, I always do these things off camera. Like I'll destroy one of these things here and there. And I'll rebuild them again. Just because after a while they tend to get so cluttered and full of shit that I just want to wipe them and start brand new. But I figured instead of cleaning it this time, I'm going to run this program and show you all how to exactly kill one right in front of your eyes. So what you're seeing right now is what your computer would fucking be doing if you had decided to launch memes.exe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going, how to buy weed? How to get weed out of your system is what it's Googling up. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time we fucking kill this program. All right, shut, shut, shut that fucking thing down. All right, what's happened is it's over. And if you were to restart it, you get Neon Cat. All right, so basically how you kill your computer, if you ever have to, is run MEMS. 
Once again, please don't do it on your actual computer. It's going to fucking render it useless. Unless you can recover it and shit. Here, it's even telling me. A fragment... Yeah, the the, the drive is fucked up, alright? Everything is gone. This whole thing, this whole mess is fucked... This is, this is one giant shit, shit stain. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the VM that is infected with MEMS. We're gonna drag that shit into here, alright? We're gonna empty that fucking bin just to make sure that it is all but fucking dead. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of an era. That was the end of one of our VMs for 2016. We're gonna build it again for 2017 and play a shit ton more EXE games, or we might even do the EXE creepypasta game. But... For now, I'm going to end this. I hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit of a departure, I know, from the gameplay and stuff, but I figured <laughs> sometimes I want to do this stuff because we do cover the deep web. I wanted to show you some of these viruses because people are like, you ever get nasty viruses? No, because I'm pretty safe, but sometimes, you know, if you really want to see the extent of what a virus can do and all the fucking payloads at once, this was your video, ladies and gentlemen. I know I was trying to get Bonzi Buddy too. I apologize that we didn't have that cancer on the Windows 10 version. But uh, there's no way I was going through the installation for that. We fucking knew this. All right, Vista died too early on. All right, rest in pepperonis. But if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. This is me, Mudhar, and I am out.